Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Thanks so much for joining me. Guess what? The altered book is back. <laughs> I'm so sorry it's been so long. Um, but I'm here to do the spring pages. Um, so this is for me at the uh, front of the book. Now I've just been sitting here uh, getting the first page done just to just to get me back into the swing of things. So this is what I came up with, very, very simple. I've just got some digital in there. This is a circular book page. Um, I cut it from a book. So I've stuck uh, the sides down as little a tuck spot here and if I haven't closed it up here for you know just a couple of small bits of ephemera to to go into and then just added some butterflies and of course we've got the the blossom you know this this to me is the colors of what I want the spring pages to be like very pastel and soft um, and then the summer I want to be darker and more vibrant um, and then of course we go into the autumn pages so that's what I've just been sitting here doing <clears throat> but I just want to add a little something to finish it off so I wanted to show you, I've put some spring words together uh, onto my buy me a coffee. It is a freebie, there are autumn and winter words as well. This is the, the spring version. So I'm thinking I want to go for, I'm thinking to put something just along here, just to, just to finish the page off. And all of the intro pages to each season have um, sort of a something to do with that season like you know autumn in the woods spring in the woods um not spring winter in the woods for this one i think i'm just going to go with the first blooms of spring i'm just going to tear this off now the the freebie it's nothing special it's just typed up words onto a word doc um so you know you could print them onto digital paper or um, tea dyed paper to have them be you know an interesting colour. I've just done mine on to, to white card because well that's what I had <laughs> in the printer so I'm just gonna put those to one side because I'm sure I will use them again and as I say I've got um, I know a lot of you have downloaded them already but for those of you who are new to my channel um, there are yeah the winter and autumn words and there will be summer words as well when we come on to do those pages. So I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're excited to see the book back. <laughs> I know I am. I'm, I'm excited to get back into it, definitely. Um, so I've just been putting my thinking cap on as to what we could do for the first page spread together. So I'm just gonna ink this whilst I introduce myself. <laughs> well, not me, the project. <laughs> Reintroduce the project. So we're just going to keep that very simple and just glue that on. I probably should have checked that it actually fits before adding the glue, but you know, I'm excited to get just stuck in. So I am going to eat into some of my tuck spot by putting it here because I want it to, you know, overlap this page a little bit just to, to bring out the, the collage, I guess. <clears throat> but I wasn't going to put anything massive in these tuck spots anyway. It was going to be, you know, something, a small, a small card small bit of ephemera so yeah we'll still we've still got plenty of room for that there we go that's the first page done so I hope you don't mind me doing that off screen I just wanted to get back into the project and um yeah <laughs> I was still umming and ahhing about what I sort of wanted colorway wise but yeah I decided that I definitely want to go for the the softer tones um, and of course, if you didn't see my my planning video, um, I did put a list together of all of the different things that we see in spring here in the UK, or at least southern England in my case. So I have a tray full of spring things. Lovely. We've got, you know, butterflies, we've got birds and birds' nests and feathers, lots of the flowers that you see, so lots of daisies, blossom, um, primroses, daffodils, that kind of a thing. And then I've just found, you know, little bits of ephemera, things that I might want to use in collages and stickers. So a whole heap of things there. OK, so this is the first page we're going to do together. So this one is a side uh, pocket here. Now, originally, I thought I was going to do 
uh, a page like this with this torn paper across. I've done this in both autumn and winter, there's the, the winter one, and I wanted to have that as a running theme throughout each season, a page like that in each one. However, <laughs> this was the page I was going to do, and this is the only page I want to do this with, and I tore, I tore the, the paper, so let's just rewind a second, I tore it down, and then I was looking at what this book pages were about. It's not a nice topic. Not even close to being nice. So I really, I just, yeah, I, I can't do it with this one, unfortunately. But I still have these torn bits of paper, so we're going to do something with those. So I thought we might be able to do <clears throat> some kind of collage like this, where I still want to see some of this, some of the book page. That's kind of why... Um, I wanted that torn look because I didn't want to just mat every page and just completely cover up the fact that it's a book, you know. So I'm going to try and just do something with these bits. So I've got some daisies, I've got a frame. Um, the digitals that I've used so far are from, um, well, in, in the spring season, they're from the journal boat. I think it's her ooh, pink memento kit is what I'm using for the spring months. And... Um, for those of you who are interested in watching more, there is a playlist for the autumn book where I've done autumn and winter together with you. And we're going to have spring now and uh, summer, not too in the distant future, because I'm aware that we're in June. <laughs> yeah, I've been dragging my feet, I know. I just had a lot of projects that I wanted to finish off before I could get back into this. And now I feel much better about doing this because I'm in a position where I can kind of just get on with it and enjoy it and just do a little bit of fun pages and yeah I'm really loving how the auto book is turning out so far so I've got this torn page so I'm just gonna go ahead and hope that my glue works <laughs> so I'm using the Kalau for any big pieces um, just because it's you know quick and easy and then um, I'll use the art glitter glue for getting in any nooks and crannies. Okay, so I'm going to have that here. Like so. I don't like to squeeze too hard on that glue, which is why I always have edges that need uh, finishing off. Okay, and then to keep it as a running theme, I'm taking the same digital and popping that here. <coughs> Oops. So instead of it being torn across the page like what I'd intended, it's actually just still torn but um, just vertically I guess, I don't know. You know what I mean. <laughs> so, please ignore my dog. He hasn't gone to sleep yet following his walk so he is just making some interesting noises behind me. Okay, I think we're in. I don't know whether to move it over a bit, a bit more. It's hard to see where, where I've done the inking. I actually can't tell where one page starts and another finishes. Which I guess is the point, you know, you want it all to kind of blend in together. So yeah, I use the Kalau. I haven't had any problems using that in the whole project. Um, I know some people doing this project have found that their pages wrinkle. Um, I would say either the book pages are too thin or if you're using a glue stick, maybe that caused that. But the Kalau has been really, really good. And the art glitter to get into the edges has been good. Okay, so I've got those down. So I just want to um, just get into these little edges here with my, my little tip. So I'm going to hit pause whilst to do that. And I'll come back to you. And I might lower the camera just so you can get a better view of the collaging. Okay, I think we're all stuck down nicely now. Okay, so... This is the daisy image. This comes from a book that I want to have on here. And I really like how some of it overlaps the, you know, there's a little space there. It just fit it perfectly. So I'm thinking that. I've got a frame sticker, so I don't know if I could have that come into it somehow. Maybe. And then originally I was thinking to use this but I, behind the frame 
but actually I don't know if I need that now, so let's just have a little look. Yeah, I don't think I need it. Obviously I was trying to hide as much of the text as possible without, you know, covering it all completely. Just to cover up, you know, any not very nice words. <laughs> um, so I'm just, uh, I'm positioning it just so, just to cover up any anything that I don't want to see. I can always add more, I could add a butterfly or something. I've just got a word down here that I'm trying to hide. So note to self, if you're going to do an altered book, be careful of the text that you've got on the page, especially Reader's Digest books. Um, in my experience, I've seen them, you know, a lot of, um, uh, what's the word? Just a lot of, um, I suppose, yeah, I don't know, just not very nice stories. <laughs> um, so again, I've got a word up here that I want to, to cover. So I've got some words in here. Um, of course, I've got the words that I did, so I'm thinking I don't want anything too, too long. I've got wild daisies, or I just kind of want something there-ish. Um, okay, I couldn't choose one of my words. Um, I preferred the look of this uh, from Honey Puddle. I will link her digital down below. Some lovely nature words, and... Um, I just liked that it kind of blended into the, you know, the ageing of the, the book page. So, that's what we're going to go for. And I decided not to use that scripty text at all. Um, which I'm surprised by, I really thought I was going to use that, but I just really like how this looks on top of the book page. So, I'm going to go for that. So this is a sticker from AliExpress. <laughs> And I'm hoping that I've got that about where I wanted it. I love to use frames in collages. These, I've got, you know, you, the, these stickers come in a whole pack. And they just really add something to the backs of your focal points. You know, if you've got like a bird's head in there, you know, you've got like, say this is the bird's body and you've got the bird's head. Or in this case, we've got the flower, you know, going up like that. It um yeah it just it looks really really nice. So I'm gonna have that up there. As I say, that's really only just to cover up what I don't want to see. <laughs> there we go. And we need to glue this down. I'm just wondering if I want to add anything else. Um, do I want to add a butterfly? The answer is maybe. Um, I don't want to add butterflies to every single page. Because in the spring you see butterflies, absolutely. But here in the UK, at least this year, we haven't seen as many. So I don't want to overdo it <clears throat> with the butterflies. So I'm just making a mental note to myself. Because otherwise, knowing me, I would put a butterfly on every single page. <laughs> Which is nothing wrong with that. I mean, who doesn't love a butterfly on a collage? But... Beautiful. Oh, it's so nice to work with these fresh colours. And today was our first spout of rain in about a month. I talked about March and April being very wet and uh, May and June were very dry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, first spout of rain that we've had in a little while. So, <clears throat> And then I've got this up here where I don't know if you can see but the I didn't do my tearing very well and then I actually liked how this looks up there this little washi sticker that was sent to me so I'm gonna put that there and this as as far as my planning got um, because I didn't want to do all of the planning off screen and then you know simply come back and you know just stick things down like <laughs> uh, but I did I did want to get into it so I could at least have an idea of what I was doing but yeah this is as far as I got I just wanted to get to this stage so that I could then look at what the page looks like together and assess you know do I want to add anything else okay right what I do want to do whilst I'm thinking is um, I need to put some 
paper in here to cover up this part of the book page and oh, I was thinking just to use this tea dyed page which yeah I should be able to do that way um, this is from the journal boat um, mm, pink memento kit Again, it's got those soft colours that I want, so I'm just going to tear this down a bit. And that's just going to tuck, tuck in here. So I just want a bit more off the bottom. And then we may as well glue up the pocket whilst I am still thinking about what else I want to do. It might have been nice to continue that that colouring into the pocket but I have to remind myself that we're going to have something in the pocket so you're going to hardly see this anyway okay so again I'll use the colour so I'm just going to do what I did before relatively speaking I'm going to do a page at a time for each video um, and yeah, it's going to take me a little while to get back into the swing of it because I haven't touched this book since, when was it? February? January? Yeah, it's, it's been a while. So I do need to get back into the, the swing of everything. But um, I'm enjoying it already. I really am. It's so such a fun project with all of the um, <clears throat> collages and the different things you can do with the pages just for that bit of interest yeah lots of fun okay I just want to check bits are glued down because once I glue up this pocket I won't be able to get in there that's fine and then I just want to just ink this edge a second that's it and then right so this was obviously the book page folded over, so we want to glue this down. So for that I'm just going to use the art glitter glue. And this just helps to reinforce the pocket, which is why we're not cutting it off. You could probably cut some of it off if you didn't want all of this bulk, but for me I think it's fine just to glue down. Like that. And then just like we've been doing the other pages, we are going to grab the beacon. I'm only using this because I know that it's strong and works and it's worked so far, so <laughs> I'm going to keep using it. And we just want to run some glue into the spine and that just adds a bit of strength there. So not so much that you get glue blobs, like we don't want a thick amount of glue, but just enough to give that some protection. And then because this is a pocket, we want to run some glue top and bottom, just like that. <clears throat> and yeah, we've done lots of different pages together in the series already. I'm just saying this because I know that I've had a lot of new subscribers since starting the series, so I don't want someone to be thinking, you know, this is the first I've done the book, it's not, it's um, first in a while, but we did do autumn and winter together, so. Alright. So I have to remind myself we're going to have something in the pocket, so I'm I'm looking at that and thinking it's a little bit plain, but... Where I've been feeling that way, I have been going in with just a little bit of stenciling, just to calm my 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 mind a little bit. I did that a little bit dark, but never mind. So I've got this nice tea ring stencil. As I say, you hardly see this, but it just allows me then to to see it not empty, if that makes sense, not plain. <coughs> Yeah, I did that a little bit dark, but never mind. Right, um, let's think about these these butterflies. Um, 
like I say, I didn't want to have butterflies on every page, but I'm just feeling like there is a word down here I really need to, to cover up. I'm thinking if I go with this nice brown one, this is quite a muted brown, then it won't stick out like a sore thumb. It'll be, you know, it's quite muted. So let's try that. I think this will be the right one. So sorry, I'm just going to have to cut this out quickly. Uh, when I do my butterfly fussy cutting, I do it in batches and I uh, I normally just, I'm quite lazy with it where I just cut it out of the book and shove it in my drawer of butterflies and then I cut it out properly when I come to use them. For me, I, I don't know if it saves time, but it at least makes the fussy cutting process a little bit less uh, bothersome. <laughs> So what if we have the, so again, I'm just trying to get it so that it's, uh... I don't want it to look random, but I do need it to cover up that word, so. And I'm not saying the words on video because that would be an instant demonetization by YouTube. So <laughs> just trust me when I say, I don't want to be saying these words on camera. And I don't want somebody be, to be reading them. Uh, whilst trying to work in a journal you know that's it I think that's that's fine I, I'm glad that you can see some of the book page though um you know I do like to keep some of it where I can um if I was going to do an altered book again I would be more mindful of what book I was using so that I could have more of the text showing because I actually really prefer it collaged. You know, these collage pages are some of my favourites compared to, you know, just... Like, I love that, don't get me wrong, but you don't see any of the book page, so... But that's really nice. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Okay, so what do we want to do on this side? Um, This is where I got very stuck. <laughs> and, and that's why I had to wait until I had you know, the page decorated, because I feel like I want to put something with this sticker so it doesn't just look like I've just shoved a sticker there. I'm thinking, I don't want any more flowers because I want the focus to be on the daisies in terms of, you know, if we're going to add florals. Um, which is why I'm going down the route of, and I don't want to have a butterfly on every page, um, which is why I'm going down the route of, like, birds kind of a thing. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I like the feather. I just feel like I want to add something else into it, and I don't know whether I could maybe almost build some kind of little like cluster with this sticker up here. Just to see if something like this might help me. Just to make it more intentional. And then <clears throat> I just want to see what it would be like if I were to add a word to it. I found some stuff. I've got one of my stamped tickets from Roxy's Weekly Challenge. That's really nice. It's a really nice green. It's a soft green. So I'm thinking, make some kind of like clustery thing. And then the green and brown is then, you know, taken across the page. And then one of my words, soft rainfall. I thought this would be quite nice. And uh, something like that. I think so. Obviously this is a journaling page so I don't want to eat into um, eat into it too much so I think I'll go with that for now and then if I want to add more at a later stage um, I can always add more can't I? So I think I had about, about there. Just thought yeah I needed that sticker to be there needed to be a reason to put that sticker there other than to hide the fact that I tore the page really wonkily. <laughs> so at least now it looks intentional. I've created some kind of little like cluster embellishment piece here. 
Oh, I need to just put this in. Oh, goodness me. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about my word. There we go. Let's try that. That's it. Yeah, I think that's all I'll do for now. I don't want to overdo overdo it. I think with the spring pages, I want them to be, um, uh, what's the word? Not simple, because I still want to do some fun things with them, absolutely. But softer, I think, yeah, softer, I think is the word that I wanna go with. Um, so, and I, and for that, I think also, slightly less embellishments might be might be good um <clears throat> i don't know if i can just use what's on my brush just to bring some of the tea staining across that page doesn't really need it but at least then um it's all um what's the word what is the word you know intentional it's all intentional and it all like flows flows together doesn't it so that is my first page that I've, I've done with you for spring. I hope that you like it. Um, I'm so sorry if I was a bit indecisive in the video. I might have to um, cut a few things out just where I had really long pauses about choosing things. But I really like it. I think that's come out so, so nice. So that's my first two pages done. So of course we've got two tuck spots in the front there. And we've got this nice big... I really like these side pockets in the altered book. You can fit nice big journal cards in there and they feel really, really sturdy and strong, which is which is good. Yeah, I like that. I think my frame was a bit wonky, but that doesn't bother me. I really like it. So I hope that you liked that page. I hope that you enjoyed doing that little bit of collage with me. Um, so what have we got for week three? So this is the next page. Um, I want to say this was the window page, um, which we're going to do on the next video, and I need to remind myself what I was going to use. Um, I've got some book pages in here, somewhere. Aha! I was torn between these ones. So these are from the Gordon Benningfield books. Um, I have done flip throughs on my channel uh, for those of you who have not seen them. I thought maybe this one. Um, I want to try and get the window where that path is and this is from the spring season, uh, his paintings. But I also like this stream. <laughs> I'm, I'm less thinking that one now. I think this is a bit too dark. I want to be a bit more fresh and that one isn't really much to look at. So it will be one of these two images. We either go stream or uh, country lane. I'm leaning a little bit more towards this one just for the colours that I'm pulling out in these pages. It's quite soft and that one is a little bit on the bluer side. So it will be one of those two, I think. So we'll do that on the next video. So thanks so much for joining me. As I say, it's going to take me a little bit of time to get back into, you know, doing the altered book and just getting back into it. So I hope that you enjoyed the videos and I will catch you next time. Bye bye for now.